disabled. I'm not comfortable living in a society. We're just down the road from me. There is what you call a hot spot or a, I don't know, inner city. I used to sit at the breakfast club table and we came from the Pegasus. That's where we did our shows. And just down the street, five minutes drive, I could be in a inner city and pretend that all is well. I'm not comfortable that when I go into the inner city, the kind of housing and so on that I'm seeing, I'm not comfortable that I have to have all these grills in my house, that I can't leave my door open. I'm not comfortable that my children have to go abroad to university, and we have a university here in Jamaica. I'm not comfortable that we're not eating. We prefer foreign food to local food. I'm no expert when it comes to security matters, but where, where do the guns come from? We don't make guns. And the poor people using guns can't afford guns. I'm not comfortable. And I think we should start thinking about our comfort level. You know, that's, that's what I gave my, most of my adult life for, to make a difference. And how many years later, how many decades later, it's still there. We have to find a way. What I see happening to women and children, I thought the position of women and children would be far better than what I'm seeing now. I mean, the domestic violence, sexual harassment. I, I never even thought that those things would be possible in 2021. So when you look back and you realize you made all the sacrifices and you did all the things you had to do, there comes a time when you ask yourself a question, what's the point? Should I stop now? Does this even make sense? But then you always come back to, as long as I have breath, I am going to do things to make a difference.